Alright, we have a Hyundai Velostar Turbo again. Uh, this one is in that nice bright yellow shade and it's here for ECU remap. And it's a little bit both wrong and right about two cars not being equal or all cars are not the same. This one is both equal and not equal at the same time. Uh, I'll explain in a little while after we dyno it. Alright, this is the baseline dyno of our yellow Veloster. And then you might be wondering why there are two lines here. Uh, this thinner, this thin red line here is the gray Veloster that we've done about a week or two back. And this red line is the yellow Veloster now. Uh, peak horsepower wise, they're both the same. 156 point 86 and 0.43 so that's for all the purposes exactly the same horsepower but once again that's only at peak that's only at 6100 rpm now if you look at the rest of the chart you will see that this yellow veloster has about 30 15 yeah about 55 to 15 horses more over the silver veloster so i'm right uh, no two cars are alike, but this particular car made exactly the same peak horsepower. <laughs> so I'm right and wrong at the same time. Uh, same thing with the torque here. The peak torque is made exactly the same here at 6,000 RPM and it's even closer. <laughs> 185.605, it's exactly the same right there. But looking at the rest of the dyno chart, uh, this is the silver Veloster here, the thin red line. This is our yellow Veloster here. So this one has a bit more earlier torque than the previous Veloster. No two cars are alike most of the time. So in order to remap this car, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking out the ECU. Um, pretty much every Hyundai and Kia needs to undergo that process. It is not as simple as just plugging it into the OBD. Uh, no, the ECU has to be removed and at times it has to be opened up. We have to put actual pins inside the ECU to be able to read and write it. So it's quite a long process. <laughs> We've removed the Veloster's ECU and this is it. Well, looks like surgery is required. Uh, hold up the diagram here and this is what we have. Um, we have to put three pins here where the processor is. You can see here there's a word called boot. Uh, most of you computer dorks know what this means. So this means that this starts up the processor so we're able to read it. And a little bit below here, we have to plug in some pins which correspond to this part of the ECU here, over there. So, there, we're gonna pin that there. So, we have three power, uh, 12 volts, we have to supply 12 volts here, we have to supply ground here, then we have a can high and can low. So, these are the actual communication lines for uploading and downloading information. Okay. I'm gonna open this up. Uh, gingerly and carefully. Thank <laughs> you. 
done with our uh, Velister remap and the results are impressive <laughs> uh, peak power was at 157 156 174 so now it's 182 but this is at 6,000 rpm the bigger story is actually here if you start here at uh, 22 rpm so we went from 30 to 70 so that's 40 horse right there at 3,000 rpm we went from 45 to 95 that's 50 horse and then 50 to 105, 55 horse. 80 to 145, so that's 65 horse. <laughs> so if we average all of this out, this is 40 to 50 horses gain, this entire thing here. Uh, torque similarly, obviously, any gain in horsepower will give you a gain in torque. So we went from 100 Newton meters to 220 at 22 RPM. So we doubled the torque right then and there. Same thing here, from 110 to 220, 100 to 240, 140 to 260. Uh, peak torque happens a little bit earlier. It used to be 5,000, now it's 4.5. But once again, if you look at here, you already have 220 Newton meters at 22 RPM, as opposed to your stock peak torque of 180 at 5,000 RPM. So yeah, owner will be very happy with this one. <laughs> Thank you.